check out all this green hair algae. Holy crap. Look at this. Just pulling it up. Look at it moving up. Oh my god. Holy crud. It took that a little bit. Like Spider Man's. Spider Man's, uh. Web thing. Whoa. Holy crud. I wonder if I can save this. I could probably see if you do something like this though. Holy crap. Finally breaking. Dang, dang, dang. Look at this. That's so dense. It looks, it looks cool though. Kind of looks like a green fruit by the foot or whatever you call that stuff. Easy. Like probably ask me what I'm doing here then. I'm uh, fixing this planet tank. I'm gonna put some rainbow fish in this tank now. Swap it out from the old like sickness I had in here, like bleeding rams, and do something cooler. And some like uh, Siamese flying foxes. Uh, take out the ugly piece of wood that was in here. Should never have been in here. And uh, get yeah, some, what do they call them, the Sony barbs or whatever they are. Blue rabbit snails and some other cool junk. I don't know, we'll see. Let me finish this project first. This is a really huge uh, piece of wood I was talking about. I mean, it's like the most awkward looking thing on the planet. I'm like, what the hell am I supposed to even do with this thing? You know? I guess it's like a giant rod or something. But, you know, I guess I can put it in this thing. With the big guys, but um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Just taking some rocks apart, and I found there's a big old thorny nerite snail in that planet tank. He's pretty cool. Look at him. Look at how big those little thorns are. The very sharp little ones too. That's pretty cool try to focus the camera. Focus the mind. That's pretty cool though. Alright guys, so here's a look at the new wood that I put into this tank. It looks freaking badass. It's got uh, a couple Australian rainbows in there already. Over the money rainbows. I'm gonna get some Australian rainbows to fill in the gaps in this tank, uh, and uh, some uh, blue, uh, some blue rainbow fish, and uh, a couple other cool little colorful small fish to put in this tank. So I'll update you when I add more fish to this. The bottom looks like crap right now, but that'll be another video where we put cool plants at the bottom. These plants are nice, but. They need to be put to the back and uh, some smaller ones put in the front. So uh, I'll update you guys when I do the uh, scape, uh, the plantscape for this tank. And it'll be a fun, easy little project. Probably put some uh, Java moss on these branches too, or some kind of moss. Maybe a plant in the middle. We'll see. We'll make it look cool. Alright, guys, see you on the next video. I do like this piece of wood, it's freaking awesome. It sticks out of the water too a little bit. So here's a cool shot of all the fish in front of the tank together and this cool little uh, planting tank that I'm working on. No planting yet, just the wood. This really awesome big piece of wood here. And simple Monty rainbows, Australian rainbows, turquoise rainbow, some tetras, then a Sony barb, whatever you want to call it, the rose lane shark. Some cool stuff in here. And they're all getting along very well. It's almost too well. I'm either thinking about some kind of plan of escape or something. But anyways, everybody's acting like model citizens. Everybody's happy. And once this tank has a better light and plants in here, it's gonna look epic. 
snails crawling on the glass there. Click a little over here in the corner. And then around these rocks somewhere I have some cool little flying foxes nibbling on algae. But yeah, I like this tank. It's going pretty well. And it's gonna look cool once it's all done. Or once I get a couple plants in here. Alright guys, I'll keep you updated on this cool little planet tank I'm making.